Hello, my name is Jan Thielemann and in this video I want to show you how you can create a custom form. Uh, what is a custom form? Uh, a form is basically um, like a window in item here, but it doesn't display data from a specific table. Uh, it's like a blank page and you can paint whatever you want. So you're free to use any UI components um, you want to use and it's especially useful if you have, for example, a legacy system uh, whose data is not in the um, IdemPier database or the data is uh, structured in a way that IdemPier cannot display it, then you could use a custom form or you can uh, create a custom form to quick enter some data. So if you have an accountant and he um, types in uh, a lot of same stuff every time, then he could save a lot of time with a custom form where he only have to enter the, the numbers who changed and hit enter and go on with the next number. So how do you do this? Um, first, let me create a new plugin project. And I call my um, project my form like this. Uh, normally I don't use the default location, but in this tutorial, that's okay, I think. So I um, created my plugin. Um, the next step is uh, I will delete the activator because I don't need it. Also remove the activator from the manifest. Now I create my form class and I will need another class, which is my form factory. My form factory is um, the OSGI factory, which is loaded by IdemPier, and it will provide my custom form. Um, what I have to do for this is I have to implement the iForm factory interface from the UIZK bundle, import it, implement the method, and now we have to check um, you get a string, the form name string right here. Uh, this is the class name in IdemPier. And what I will do, I will simply check if the form name contains my form. So this is simple enough for me. And if this is true, then I return a new instance of my form. My form, of course, has to um, extend AD form. And that uh, unimplemented method. And yeah, this is your entry point. Um, this is the place where you can start to um, yeah, give your form a custom look. And what I will do is I will create um, a text box. the item here text box I would rather like the ZK text box okay so here I say be at event listener events on okay and this And I have to implement the on event method. And let's check if the event target is our text box. And the event name is on OK. Then we print the text from the text box. Okay, let's try this out. Um, before we can run the server, we have to add a component definition for the form factory. 
so I call the component definition form factory XML. The name is uh, my form factory and the class is my form factory class. So here I add the service ranking, which is an integer, let's say 100. Um, the service ranking property is because when OSGI loads um, something from an OSGI factory, then the order is um, determined by the plugin service ranking or by the component definition service ranking. So um, the provided service is the iForm factory from the web UI. Let's check if Eclipse messed something up with the XML, but it looks good. Let's check the manifest. This looks also good. I believe uh, we are done. Yeah, then let's run it. Let's try it out. Let's see if it works. Okay, so the next thing is um, I need a new menu entry for my form. So I create one with the action form, of course. And now I need a new um, special form or just form, which is my form. And everybody can access it. And here I enter the full qualified class name of my class, save it, select it here, save it, just change the role so the menu gets reloaded, and there it is, my form. Um, it is empty because of course I forgot to append um, the text box to the form. So let me restart the server real quick. Here and there it is. My um, custom form. And of course you can use all kind of layouts and all kind of um, components supported by the ZK framework. And if you want more information, then um, go to this address. And here you have um, demo for all the um, different components. There are also a lot of frameworks. Um, you may have to pay a license for it, but uh, it will give you a whole bunch of additional components which you could integrate into um, item pair. Yeah, so um, that's how you create a custom form. I hope this video helps and I see you in the next video.